the fire season first kicked off uh, around about sort of uh, August of this year. Strategically having uh, the LATS and VLATS based at RAAF Richmond, we can combat sort of any fire situation roughly in about a, an hour. The LAT is a, uh, uh, a classification of the aircraft, so it's a large air tanker. Uh, and the aircraft we've got here at the moment is the Hercules and the 737. And then as the fire season built up, we've uh, gradually uh, worked into having four LATs here and, uh, and one DC-10, which is the VLAT. which stands for very large uh, air tanker. Uh, and that can carry sort of um, around about sort of the 36,000 litres of suppressant. Once we get the, uh, the dispatch, um, we do our, uh, our navigational uh, requirements, making sure we can get there, get the airplane loaded. Uh, to load the VLAT aircraft takes roughly 15 minutes. Um, from there, we depart um, with, uh, with the help of the, of the control tower here and ATC out of Sydney. Uh, in route, we're monitoring frequencies and listening to what's going on um, at, at the fire grounds. Um, get a lot of situational awareness in route. Um, once we're overhead, we tie into our bird dog aircraft. Uh, we communicate directly with him. And from there, we'll uh, supply the suppressant uh, where it's been determined it's going to be the most effective on that particular fire at that time. It can be challenging. Um, for the most part, we're, we're uh, dealing with some visibility issues due to the smoke, um, but it's well choreographed. Prior to us arriving on scene, they, uh, they being the incident commanders, the RFS folks that are both on the ground and in, in other uh, aerial assets, they have a real good idea of exactly where they need us to go. So it doesn't take uh, four or five minutes on scene. We're back out and whether it's a return and load, go back to that same fire or return and hold, they'll give us those instructions uh, at the end of each drop. Since August, we've been sort of averaging around about sort of four loads a day. We've put out close to seven million litres of suppressant from uh, RAAF Richmond at the moment. Um, but we've also been using uh, uh, RAAF uh, Williamtown, uh, HMAS Albatross, RAAF Pierce and RAAF Edinburgh. By well, having RAF Richmond set up with um, the supplying us with fuel, having uh, air traffic control, having uh, 22 squadrons that have support us with uh, stairs uh, and uh, gen sets, it's, it's a, it's a one-stop shop for us to, uh, to load the aircraft, but not only supply sort of New South Wales, we really cover the whole of the East Coast. The, uh, the RAF base location here is an excellent location for us to work out of. Can imagine an aircraft this size does require some additional support. The equipment that's been supplied uh, to us by the, uh, by the Air Force has just been spectacular. <laughs>